Welcome to another exciting episode of Mixed Brew Review, and today we got this one. All right, well, so today I've got something again from the Gage Road Breweries. This one is their pale ale called Atomic. This one's from Western Australia, Gage Roads Brewing, same as what the single Finn one was from. But this is their pale ale, their American pale ale. This one here, <coughs> this one here is 4.7% alcohol. Uh, last time I had one of these, it was way too bitter for me. I got given a carton um, through work for doing something, blah, 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 and yeah, give here's a prize. I had one and gave it to a mate. Well, that was before I beat my taste buds up with bitterness. So let's see what this one's like. Okay, so the Gage Roads, yeah. Western Australia, pale ale. Didn't like it last time. Let's see how it sits this time. The smell's better than what I remember though. Okay, all right, okay. So, there was no better place for the 1940s secret mariner to get his land legs back than Dockside in Fremantle. A tribute to those heady times, this American style pale ale is dry hopped with four US hops and bottled unfiltered for flavor and freshness. All right, cool. So, I get a little bit of Newstead kind of uh, two to the valley. Kind of smell out of that with the hops, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a little taste. Holy crap, that's a lot better than I remembered it being. Wow, okay. It's got a nice colour. That looks beautiful. I think last time I tried this, it was straight out of the stubby as well, so maybe that was a mistake too. But that, uh, that color looks great. Let's see what that looks like through the can. Beautiful color, beautiful color. Okay, yeah, so that colour's great. Looks like there's just a couple of little dots of yeasty left over. Alright, let's get into the Gage Rose Atomic American Pale Ale. Mm. <laughs> it's a lot better than it used to be. I remember this one being so bad, I don't believe I even finished the stubby of it. Now, I don't know whether it's a different batch, something's different, or it's just because I've expanded my taste buds more into the craft and, and the, the pale and the IPA realm. But this is fucking fantastic. Why have I been thinking this was just crap? Why well, have, any time someone's grabbed one, I've just looked at it when I'm serving them at work and just gone like, this guy doesn't know what he's, what he's doing. But you know what? They fucking did. <laughs> this would have to be one of my favorite non-fruity style pails. For sure. For sure. I'm not getting any bitter whatsoever out of that. So I don't know what I was talking about back in the day. Because the first sip I had was like way too bitter. Maybe back then what I thought was bitter was just flavour. Um, because most of the beers that I had were just lagers. Just clean, crisp style lagers. Uh, so yeah, maybe it was the flavour. Um, 
So back then I did not like this flavour, and now that I have complexed a bit, this is fantastic. Ah, it's fucking gorgeous. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching another Mixed Brew Reviews. I've just found a great product that I thought was absolutely disgusting, but you know what? It's turned me around and I'm putting this uh, in my top 10 beers of all time. Mm. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not part of the Drunk Tank family already. Hit that notification bell just to get notifications of when I chuck up a new video. And don't forget, enjoy your beers. That's it. Go home. Oh.